when we talk about wavelength, you might have heard often that, uh, at least the appearance, that a lower frequency signal is going to travel farther than a higher frequency um, type of a signal. Now, in reality, if we were out in outer space, each signal would travel the same amount of distance. Um, it just uh, depends on things like uh, atmospheric uh, uh, qualities, rain, fog, uh, maybe uh, inside the office going through walls, that yes, we can see that lower frequency signals will go further than those that are uh, of higher frequency. But what I'm trying to say is that when we really think about the energy um, of these signals, that it's uh, kind of like throwing a, a pebble into a clear lake, you know, where it's calm on the surface. And, you know, and I, I might say, okay, here's my lake, you know, maybe I got my boat out there. No, can't have my boat out there because of the, uh, it's got to be calm. And if I throw a rock or a pebble into the middle of that lake, you're going to start seeing the little ripples. And those ripples are going to be pretty big at first because they uh, don't have to cover as much of an area. And as it radiates away from that, you can see those ripples slowly look like they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller until it gets to a point where you don't see them anymore. Now, that doesn't mean the energy, the original energy that I used to uh, uh, or created when that rock went into the water, but if you notice as I'm making these rings, that that amount of energy at first was over a small area, but as it radiates out, that same energy has to cover more distance and so that's why the ripples appear to get lower and smaller and smaller until at some point we don't see them anymore. Uh, and that's, you know, just doesn't mean that energy is still not there. It's just no longer perceptible. And we have that same uh, issue when we talk about things like uh, wireless communications with an access point. Uh, if we assume that it's uh, sending a signal omni omnidirectional, that at first, or when I'm closest to that access point, it's a very strong signal and I get good reception and, and everything's great. And as I move farther from that access point, that energy, as I said again, has to go uh, a more distance, right? The circumference of this, uh, of this uh, circle that I'm drawing gets bigger and bigger. Uh, and so at some point, uh, I just probably wouldn't even be able to see the signal because it's traveled out too far and it's become, well, we think of it as being weaker, it's, uh, but it's just not as measurable or perceptible which is uh, how these wireless communications work. And then when we add things like walls and everything else, that's where we might see that uh, idea that a lower frequency uh, travels further than a higher frequency. And we're going to talk about some of the problems that we have uh, when we start seeing these uh, different obstructions to our signals and some of the effects that it could have.